Hello! Welcome to episode 187 of We Have Issues. I'm Anthony. And I am Stevie Wildcard. Every week, Stevie Wildcard and I get together and we do our best to overcome the various issues and obstacles and distractions that life throws our way. And we try to make freaking comic books. And very soon, Steven, we're going to make a freaking movie. We're going to do it. We're in technically in pre-production right now, which sounds way fancier than it is. <laughs> we're in pre-production. We're in pre-production of our producers. first film. Stakeout. We need we need a you know producers through a website that we have to have contribute to the cause. And then we'll... It's- it's interesting though because like I mean everything you do before making the mo- before filming is pre-production, you know? So it's like you're writing, you're technically in pre-production, you're getting this, you know, you're you're getting all the cast together pre-production. You're planning, you know, you're budgeting pre-production. Mm. I've been in pre-production for 38 years, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like hell, if you want to count my mom's life too leading <laughs> up to me, this movie's been in the works generations <laughs> that's right uh but for those of you who don't know steve and i have been friends for a billion years we uh we met in high school we've been trying to make comic books for a very long time uh when covid hit uh you know like you know the time you know that time that thing that happened to all of us we were all like oh everyone's getting sick and terrible things are happening and now we're not in work and what do we do um we were like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make comic books and talk via zoom so we started doing this uh we made we've made we made a few books so far, Stephen. I'm I'm proud of us. I think it's 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 been going really well. I I I I expected to be famous by now. It keeps not happening. <laughs> it keeps not happening. I'm trying. I'm trying my freaking best, Stephen. Um, but but every week we get together and we talk about like how we're doing and what you know what 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 got in the way. Uh, so how did you do this week? What do you want to do and like what happened? I wanted to continue my trend, but I did completely fail this week. Um, not entirely. I guess I failed if you count. That since I technically failed last week by not adding all the attachments to Deathless and drawing M in a better way, but I revised the previous page and right. then didn't didn't get much work on a new page. So I'm just gonna take it as a fail. Right, right. So so Stephen failed again, like one of those failures which I have <laughs> never done, Stephen. <laughs> he has successfully never failed. <laughs> I've ever. successfully never failed. I have failed at failing, Stephen. That's what I've no, I've, <laughs> I've I've been like I. It's funny, like with like sicknesses and just like general depression and like weird online stuff and just being a human. I've failed so much recently. <laughs> I think you know what I think my my real problem is. I think my issue uh, lately has been uh, I, when we get far ahead in our projects like I've never been much of like a multi-project person I'm like oh yeah I'm just working on one book so I I'm like I like twiddle my thumbs until I have something to color you know or I'm like all right uh, you know but what I'm trying to do is write the next book so we get further ahead uh so this week I was like I'm gonna do it I'm finally gonna sit down I'm gonna write all of issue four I'm gonna finish it I'm gonna I'm gonna get it in the in the in the in the bag we're done you know done um so I I did it Steven I freaking did it yeah it. you did I, I did it and you read it and I, like so you prove you can prove that I didn't so I did the thing I it's fantastic too I'm so excited to sh- like for all you guys are way behind on this you guys are gonna see this for a minute but there's definitely some sweet progression. Yeah, you guys aren't ready for this, but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, I, I'm so excited for issue four. For those of you who don't know, we have it's Anthony a- and Steven, the George R. R. Martins of comic book <laughs> industry. <laughs> But for, for those of you who don't know, Steve and I have been working on a book series called Deathless. It's a supernatural action horror comedy, a D and D inspired uh, adventure book. You know about this just just nobody who realizes that he's been you know possessed by this guardian spirit who has to save the world. Unfortunately for him, the people he has to save the world from happen to be his roommates. You know, um, along with a supernatural gigantic unicorn teddy bear monster which is probably everyone's favorite character in the book right <laughs> absolutely <laughs> i mean how could it not be but no but i like i freaking i love this series and like i i kind of i feel like I'm, I'm i'm going like full circle with it like i so i started out strong then i started getting like that lull you know like the which is weird because like issue two i think was like more exciting and i was like oh this is cool but i started getting like I was like, oh, I'm sad. I'm getting exhausted by this but this series, although we're only on issue two. It's just <laughs> a lot of work. It's so much work. And issue three, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, um, finished writing it. You know, like now bleh, I don't know what to do with my life. And I felt like I was just like in quicksand for a while. But now, like, as your pages are coming out and you're like showing me these images and I'm like, oh, issue three is coming to life. And, the, and you got to think like these were all things like Anthony was nervous going into issue three thinking since there's a lot of like 
Is, it, is the exposition? Is that the word yeah. I'm looking for? Yeah, it's yeah, like there's there's a lot of buildup, but like I I'm definitely keeping everything super awesome because like he thinks it's too much, but really the whole reality that we're gonna be in 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 issue three is gonna be interesting and awesome, and then we're gonna get to see a lot of backstory to what Deathless is, the spirit in him, and everything. So yeah, like what you're saying, seeing the pages in action, you're you're, you're having a little bit more faith in like the yeah, and it's funny. Issue. Like- yeah, because I, you know, I always love, like, every time I see your art, it's, and I, I'm sure you feel the same way seeing your own pages. Like, oh, yeah, we're closer to the end. And it's like, yes, it feels real. You get that, you get, like, reinvigorated. It's like, it helps you climb those stairs a little, you know. For those of you who don't know our book or, like, haven't read it, you can check it out at wehaveissuespodcast.com. You can buy the digital version of it or the physical version of it. It's also available on Amazon, Kindle Direct. You can find it there, review it and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, dude, uh, the, the the more you get done, the more excited I get about seeing more of it. You know, so I'm just like, oh, yes. And then so I I sat down and I freaking like I, I I'm like I, I like my 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 writing process for comics now. Like, I, you know, honestly, I've been writing everything the same way, like like the movie and the comics. I have like this new method of writing because I really love writing dialogue, but I feel like because I enjoy it so much, I get trapped in it sometimes if I start with it. You know, so like with Mm. with both, I kind of do like a general pass of like an outline almost. And then I do all of like the the, like meat, you know, like the meat and potatoes of like what's what has to be on the page or what has to be on the screen or whatever. And then my last thing I do is fill it with dialogue. And then like I let the dialogue touches kind of like accent, you know, what happens in the action. I change little things if it's necessary, you know, but like Mm -hmm. but I think like writing that way has been so much fun because I get to end with fun dialogue and stuff. And it's, it's been way more. Rewarding. Yeah. It's like, he, it's like, he, it's basically like you're rough drafting. Like I would for a drawing. I don't get yeah. the, 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 the dessert until the last yeah. ink goes on the page, you know, or whatever. And yeah, dude. And it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, So I freaking, I don't know. I like, I felt so good getting that. And then like, I'm glad you read it and you, you like it. And you think like, you know, the things that I, we can't say all the stuff that happens, but yeah, dude. So like, I, I know like, you know, people read the book and they, they see, the concept they see it's 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 a it's a well we're gonna go chapter one is you know you find your hero chapter you know two here we go we're gonna f- first bad guy chapter three some sick sick and bad guy you know mm-hmm. but like it's working and then we're building to something really exciting and i can't wait for people to get there with us you know and it's it's it sucks to kind of have to like sit on some things but but um i feel like holding out like that you know like just uh delaying the gratification a little bit is a good thing you know mm-hmm. like I, I i feel like it's it, it we're working towards something good and i there's something that like i think we believe in and that's that's going to pay off and i'm excited for it so for sure um and then eventually gets to become a graphic novel so. dude i can't wait and like you know it's funny because like i i have fewer fears about the book now like i feel like it's coming together. Like it's like, ne- like, you know, re- like finishing up issue four. I'm like, this is becoming what I was hoping it would become. Like, I don't like, you know, the initial fears I had were really the like issue three and four were like, kind of like my, I was like, Oh no, what if, what if this isn't fun for people? Cause of like the nature, like the conversational nature of it. And like, you know, it's like a little bit of exposition, you know, like, but I think it works and I think it's setting something up. And I like, I feel like all my fears have been kind of dispelled. And I think that like the way your drawings have been working uh, like with uh, so far in issue three, I feel like you make and it. Then it dude. And then issue five is going to have to be pretty epic. So I'm, okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. Oh yeah. Issue five is going to be super epic. Um, But dude, <sighs> but it does lead me, Steven it does lead me to, <sighs> I just, I just want to just get this out there because I have some fears about our movie making situation. So I want to I want to I want to talk about that just for a second. Um so for those of you who don't know, Steven and I are going to be making a movie. And Steven is the best friend in the world who's like, "Yes, I will suffer through whatever idiocy you're throwing at me." <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> I'm here to draw pictures and to have a good time, and I'm all out of pictures to draw. <laughs> or but something. Like- <laughs> yeah, yeah close enough i mean we're gonna live is the point we, we live <laughs> it's but dude so so for those of you who don't know uh you know like i i every once in a while we pitch ideas on here and we pitch silly silly you know concepts and sometimes they're like movie thoughts or comic books or whatever it may be and most of the times the stuff will throw you know throw in the back burner or be like ah we'll never work on that or just silly stuff one of them i was like i really like this 
And I wrote, I, I ended up writing it for a contest um, as a short film. And then I liked it a lot. So I was like, I'm going to expand this. And we're going to make a whole feature. And here we go. And like, you know, have like all this ambition. And like, we're going to freaking do it. And I, I truly think we can, first of all. I, like, I will say like, like my fear isn't that like we can pull it off. I have like little dumb fears that I want to talk about for a second. Because like, okay, one, Stephen, we live in Florida, right? This movie takes place in a car primarily almost entirely in a car it's gonna be hot steven it's gonna mm. be hot and i don't know like i can think of a lot of ways around a lot of things but i'm trying to think like the air see we can't really have air conditioning on because our hair and stuff will be blown audio, it'll mess up the audio right yeah so like <sighs> it's like because yeah no matter because like and i know that because i've tried to record like tiktok videos or like instagram videos when i'm going to pick up atlas and i put and you're just talking on. it's like uh... yeah, the whole time it's exactly and i'm just like we're gonna have to credit the air conditioning for its dialogue <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna have to pay it money you know <laughs> like it's gonna get too many lines it'll end up in actor's guilt <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but, ac <laughs> it's ac slater AC slater <laughs> but but dude so like okay so our options, as I see them, are obviously we're going to end up filming at night with like, you know, our lighting. We're going to, you know, we'll light it, film at night. So it's going to be a little cooler. Still warm, though, in a car. Still warm no matter what, especially with the, the windows up most of the time. Now, mind you, we can have like the back windows down because for the most part, we won't see them, you know, in most in most shots and such, you know. And like we can always have like whatever like alternate window just down. Um but I don't know. We're going to test some things. We might just have to wait until, I mean, because it's already mid the middle of the year anyway. We might just have to wait until closer to winter, you know, yeah. and just be sometimes smart. maybe like, and like if we get like a cool front in October or November, we can go. Yeah. I don't think people understand how hot Florida gets. Dude, it's so hot. It's like you just sweat the, like the, mo like in the, like in August, the air is already sweating for you. So yes. like you step out and you're like, the air's like here's your coat and it's just a coat of of humidity so, yeah yeah dude so i don't want i don't want like i don't want to film this summer and then have everyone think that it's like an aquaman movie not to mention too you know? thinking about this if we filmed in summer and just try to fight for it we would fog up all the all the windows anyway it'd be yes. like titanic <laughs> i had to put my hand on the window <laughs> I mean, it might add an extra layer. Of, I added an extra layer. I don't uh, know. A little extra layer of something. A little, yeah. Uh, but Steven, okay. So, so like our other options are, I can clear out the garage, Ooh. and do a green screen situation, because, and and like that would only take, so, like some more tests. It's not hard. Like with like I do green screen all the time now. Like I've, I, you know, like I've done it a bunch, and I've done it enough to like know I, I like I feel pretty confident in it. But I'll tell you, I'd rather not do it. You know, like, uh, you know, like you'd I'd rather be have a more practical, realistic feel. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, because like what we'd end up doing is using a green screen and then I'd go outside of my house where we would film otherwise and just like film from my, like shoot from my car, you know, like basically where my car would be and put that in the background. And it would just I like I I don't ever want it to feel completely unnatural. I want it to I want it to be a, like a, a just a freaking independent movie. I want it to feel like it's real, you know. So what what I'm thinking is maybe we can just get together like one week, one you know, whatever, one like one night, one you know, and just uh choose like a couple of scenes and just you'll come over and we could just do like a quick test thing, you know, where it's like get some we'll tests just some test footage for fun because like we, we can do it with like the air on, we can see what that feels like and what it feels like with no air. We can feel, see what it, what it <laughs> sounds like with the air. And if like a directional mic can pick it up because like, if it's quiet enough, we can, I can do, uh, you know, I can, I can probably normalize it, you know, and, and I can fix it in post essentially. I'd rather not have to fix too much stuff, but like we can, also can't kill ourselves, you know? So like it's, I, I, but I think it's possible. I think it's, I think it's okay. Um, but I think that would double up because I do want to get some like funny test footage to kind of splice together for like the Kickstarter situation, uh, which by the I way, something tangible to offer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but which by the way, I did, I did start building. I started, uh, I started the Kickstarter. Which... Anthony like was successful for both of us. this week. Uh, yeah, I do. I was pretty freaking like, now that I think about it and well, what happened to me was, um, I had a, I had a couple days off of work and I was very sick. And I was not feeling well at all and just like sat at my computer, just like 
clicking and just doing things. You know, like, it, like I'm not like a lay in bed sort of person unless my body aches. And I didn't have any body aches or anything. It was just like all head, like just terrible. You know, I felt like I was Hellboy. I felt like the world was coming to an end. My <laughs> horns were going in. I didn't have my sander on. My it. hand, like, my hands all swollen. Oh, dude. <laughs> For other reasons. For other reasons. Can't talk <laughs> about those. <laughs> They're not kosher. Oh, man. Actually, you know, I was thinking, um, not like a, not like an actual, like, oh, let's like make a big production of it. But if we just did like a crappy, like really quick test, like thing of, I kind of think it works as a short film in itself, like in and of itself. If it's just the part of the conversation where I think it's a werewolf or uh, I'm sorry, where I think she's a vampire, but you're figuring out that she cheated on me. Like just mm -hmm. that section of the, of the movie, you know, cause it's like this funny back and forth where the audience doesn't know. And it's kind of like, it's kind of the from dusk till dawn of this movie, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. like, obviously like people who are going to support the Kickstarter will know for a, for a fact, but Anyone who's just blindly going to walk into this movie isn't going to know that there is a vampire in the movie. You know what I mean? They're going to think like, oh, okay, yeah, this guy is just crazy. You know, he's just like being silly because he was cheated on. And now he's trying, you know, he's mm -hmm. dragging his friend along this like nonsense. Um, but then there is a vampire. So it's like, cool. But I think I think if we kind of film that section, it might work, you know, for like a fun because there's enough like funny. Because then he had like and it's still like a short film that someone can enjoy, basically. It, exactly. And that's what and they, can, they can see the dynamics of you and I yes. and stuff like that. And like that. And like, I, I think if we I think if we talk, uh, talk through like the lunchbox, I don't know. I, I want you to read it because like I there are some things that like I'm like, maybe this will work. Maybe this will work. But like, I just want to be able to punch, like cut some things together. I do wish we had like a vampire you know that we could add um my my that's another that's another fear of mine though dude is like i don't know who's gonna play the vampire that's my only because like tommy would have been perfect i know i know and like i don't know i don't know who's gonna play the vampire and i i don't want to just i don't i mean we can do like a whole casting thing but i really just i want it to be someone we know and trust and like it sucks you know it sucks the, that we don't have anyone local you know that's like that you want me to talk to brandon or is that too much like too big too fierce Ooh, i don't know because brandon's not gonna be the driver right no um I was actually going to ask you, if, I was going to like talk to Brandon and see if he wanted to be like a camera operator, like someone who could, oh, okay. you know what I mean? Like, actually, he's been really, you know, I don't know how much he would, I don't even know what he would, if he would charge, but, or how much he would charge. But Adam, yeah. th our friend Adam shoots all the time. Like yeah. he's a cameraman. So like, and Brandon was actually talking about wanting to get more into cameras and stuff. So honestly, that might be a good. Yeah. That's, Definitely talk to Brandon about being a camera operator too. Yeah, because he, I'm, dude, because that's what that's what I was thinking. Because I know he was, you know, he works with that guy, so he's he's definitely competent and he's capable. And Brandon's also someone I've known for so long, so I can try. I can just be like, hey, Brandon, we please do this, and he wouldn't be a jerk about it. You know what I mean? So like, we can we can actually. There's no way we can incorporate your brother's beard into the vampire costume, right, dude? Like. I kind of want to do like a cool mouth thing, you know, like I kind of like played two like, style. Yeah. Like I, I think it would be cool. Like I, I want to do more and like, I mean, I'll look into it because there's not a lot of expression that I need from the vampire really. So like we could work with a mask, you know, like maybe I'll do like a mask thing that opens here, you know, where it's like, this is a, like a, like, a, you know, like this, this is a mask. And then this is their face, maybe mm -hmm. like kind of like a reverse. Um, that way we get like the eye expressions and such, mm -hmm. you know, but like maybe we can work with something like that. And if that's the case, then I could probably talk my brother into doing it, you know, but like what stinks right now is like. I want to have an actor to design the vampire based on like I want to you know, base the vampire look on someone's actual look mm -hmm. so then we're not going too far i don't want to be like oh here's a, some really really cool thing that we can't build on someone because now he has a beard or now they have this or now that you know mm -hmm. and like i can try i can you know i can i can try i can i can i don't know i i want it to be mobile i don't want it to look too cheesy you know like i feel like if it's a i don't know i'm just scared like i don't want it to be bad you know like i want it like i feel like 
um, like prosthetics are easier to apply and like make up than like masks are easier or, to make look good than to make look good. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's easier to do that than to make masks look good essentially. So I don't know. I mean, I feel like we'll figure it out. It might end up being a mask. It's, it's so funny. Cause like the, we could probably do all of the vampire stuff in like two days, you know, mm-hmm. like it's, it's not going to take that long, you know? And like what really, what it like, what makes me feel most comfortable about this is you and I can shoot all of our stuff with basically just the two of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, like, it, you, you know, you know how it is. Like, it's just like drawing or like with anything else, like I'm all about like the trial and error, like, like, okay. Oh, that shit, that didn't work. Okay. Well, at least we got some rehearsal done. Now let's put this here and figure this out. Whereas like, as long as we we allocate the time more like hey i don't want to i don't want you to come over and be like oh, i'm i'm like you're exhausted i'm wasting your time to make the movie you know mm-hmm. but like at the same time i feel like at least we have like the comfort of like hey if this didn't work we can do this another day yeah <laughs> we're going to figure this out you know but that's all, yeah i got you for sure yeah but that's also why i want to do like i want to do a test just to see how it goes but yeah dude i don't know i'm it, it like i feel like i'm starting to get nervous about real things now which feels kind of cool because i'm like it makes it feel even more real you know i'm like now you gotta flesh it out more and actually make it make it less of a dream and more of a reality yeah because like before it was like oh my gosh money or you know whatever it may be and like not that we have money but i feel like we are one step closer to making it possible and then so now we're thinking of like those realistic steps that it takes which feels good like it feels really good to, to be like hey we're we're close to actually making this movie and you know, it's really cool because I mean we have like local like you know Florida based and just local in general like horror conventions and all kinds of people who accept uh films and like you know contests and all you know stuff like that so that's a cool avenue that we can do and you know like say send it off to them and then like maybe we can go and screen the movie places and that would be really cool you know mm-hmm. so I absolutely know. yeah it would be it's just it'd be so much fun and then like we're doing we're like we're, we're one step closer to getting deathless like finished and completed as a freaking series like you know that's not that far away really you it's know not, which, is, yeah. which is really cool like you know here we are um you know we have our first graphic novella we're working on issue three of a five issue series right now like that's and we have a movie in the works like it's it's coming together steven we're not famous yet. everything's coming up millhouse that's right um but but speaking of uh you know working on all of the things in the world what are you going to do this week i'm gonna push through deathless i'm gonna keep drawing these dang pages yes um what page are you on i don't know five or six five or six okay i yeah, i'm going on there four or five oh. yeah dude i'm going to work on the the kickstarter for the movie and i'm going to i'm going to tighten up some of the dialogue from uh issue four just to to like solidify and feel better about it. Like I, I think it works as a whole right now, but like there are a couple of little scenes where I was like, I can do better, you know? So like it's, but I'm going to, I'm going to like punch that up so I can call it, you know, second draft. And then I'm going to freaking work on the Kickstarter for the movie. And we're going to, we're going to do this thing, Steven. We're going to slay it. Slay these vampires. Thank you all. Thank you all for listening and watching. Thank you for hanging out with us for a while. Uh, if you haven't checked out our books, please do. The links are all below. Otherwise, uh, feel free to you know stop by and talk to us anytime. Let us know what you're working on and what you think. You know, but make sure you tell your friends about the show. It really does help us. Last couple of weeks, we've been suffering, Steve, and our view counts are. It's like, like it's like they tuned in for Tina. Yeah. Then tune back in the following week to see if Tina would be there. Be there. And, and then, then we're like, oh, Tina's not a part of this. And then oh, there's no left. Tina? <laughs> Hard pass. It was so <laughs> weird. Yeah, I don't know. We had like two videos. Like we had a couple that were like really strong. And then I was like, oh, people just gave up on us. I'm like, all right. I guess. I don't know if it was like Roadhouse. If I fit, if I, you know, the thumbnails aren't cool. I don't know. Why do you, but like, dude, I fit. We just got to start putting like penises. Yeah. Just penises. Just penises. Just straight penis. eyes. Well, all penis. no, it doesn't have to be a straight penis. It could be whatever kind of penis you want, right? Uh, thank you all for joining us. We really do appreciate you, and we freaking love you so much. I uh, hope to see you next week. I'm Anthony. I'm Stevie Wildcard. This has been We Have Issues. We'll see you next time. Boom, Cockdra. The peeped. Up, down, left, right, ABA select start. It doesn't matter what the penis looks like. <laughs> Just the, the Coctra code. <laughs> <laughs> the Coctra code. <laughs>
Jones. <laughs> but oh man. Um, but thank you all. <laughs> thank you all for joining us. <laughs> God. <laughs> God. Okay. Katra. Katra. Come back, Katra. <laughs> Please come back, Katra. <laughs> Katra. Katra. <laughs> oh man, Katra the the the, fuck, the kaiju. <laughs> the kaiju. Katra the kaiju. All right. I love you. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Everyone.